1998 was the hottest year on record. A number of natural factors combined to send temperatures soaring. But the relatively cool years since have prompted some to suggest global warming isn't happening. Now a new report from NASA scientists says otherwise. One of the key factors, the sun. This is the sun during an active period beginning in 1998. The lighter patches you can see are sunspots. While recently it's been unusually dim, scientists have observed it's now entering a warmer phase like this again, and we could face record-breaking heat as a result. Over the next five years or so, different factors will affect climate. Human activities from carbon dioxide will cause warming, but you'll also have other factors over shorter timescales. We do have a forecast from the Met Office, a projection of climate change over the next five years or ten years or so, and we project that after next year, 50% of the year should be warmer than the warmest year on record. The sun cycle lasts around 11 years. It's brighter at the beginning and then, towards the end, it dims again. At the moment, we're coming out of the old cycle and starting a new one. So the last six years have been cooler. Now, the study says that that has been masking the warming effect greenhouse gases can have on our climate. And so as the sun becomes more active, we can expect higher global temperatures. Effectively, last year uh, and the years before, we were having quite an unusual quiet sun. Uh, but now we expect to have, uh, you know, increasing number of sunspots in the next months, and probably uh, we can reach the maximum uh, in 2013. So that's probably four years time from now. The new study draws attention to one other key factor, a phenomenon called El Nino, which also causes higher temperatures and more extreme weather and a new one's about to begin. Many scientists agree that the overall effect could raise temperatures much higher than the UN's official predictions. The hope now that the latest study will further focus the minds of world leaders before time runs out to sign a global emissions reduction deal in December. Catherine Jacobs, Sky News.